you wanted to put a 3D model into a photograph or a movie, how do you do it? The technique's called camera mapping, and here I'm going to show you how it works inside Cinema 4D. So I'm in Cinema 4D here, and I've got a plane model that I've made, and what I want to do is add that to a photograph. So first of all, we need to get something in the background, so some sort of image. So I'm going to create a new material, and in the color channel, I'm just going to go and load in a picture of a runway. As you load that in, you'll see that the resolution is 800 by 600, and that's the biggest you should do a render of this. So I'm going to set my render to 800 by 600, any bigger, and it's going to do what it would do in an image editor, like it would pixelate things. So don't go any bigger than that reference image if you can. Then I need a background in the scene, and then I drag and drop this new material onto the background, and there we can see that I've got a picture of a runway in the background. Make that a bit bigger so you can see. And I'm just going to render that up. And you can see, yeah, that's in the background, planes in there, and it kind of looked like it's on the runway, but there's no shadows or anything, so it sticks out like a sore thumb at the moment. So we need to solve that. So how do we do that? First thing I'm going to have a look at is that we've got sun light in the scene here, and I've got shadow maps on, so you know what I, I want to see is the plane cast a shadow onto the runway, but how can I cast a shadow onto a photograph? The trick is to put in a 3D object that can have shadows cast onto it. So in this case I'm going to create a polygon, make it nice and big, so that's just like a flat plane, and then I'm lowering it down to where the wheels would be, so i.e. where the floor would be um, in theory, and then here's the special trick. I control click on this material here and drag and drop it onto the polygon, and what that does is gives the same type of camera mapping to the texture that I've just applied onto the floor that I've made. Now if I render up look what happens. Render away. Here's the plane, and it's a bit hard to see on this YouTube. It's not quite right yet, but you can see now we're getting shadows cast, but there is a very faint line. I'll just highlight that there so you can see it a bit better. Um, so we need to try and fix that as well. So we want that to, to not be seen. So here I create a tag called a compositing tag, which is in Cinema 4D Tags Compositing. And in here, there's a special option called Compositing Background. And if I turn that on, that's basically going to say, oh, this is part of the background scene. It should have the same illumination as it. And um, we're basically using it to, to composite something in. So we'll render that again. So one check option in touch wood. We should see no seam and our shadows. And indeed, we can see nothing there. Perfect exactly what we want and there's our shadows there. So that's basically how you can put a 3D model into a background and cast shadows which is pretty cool. Now another thing you can do which is very popular is what if you want a white background so completely white uh, which I'm going to create here white material and you still want to see a shadow though how do you do it this is very popular. Same technique applies so now I'm changing the background to white and then again put the white on the polygon and because the scene's already set up, this should work pretty perfectly. The most important thing again to remember is that compositing tag, um, background tag is actually on for the uh, plane because that will get rid of that little seam that we saw before. And just to recap on that, I'm just going to turn that off now so you can see the difference. So I'll just pop into this compositing tag, compositing background off, and now you'll see the little seam again as I render. Um, so that's the thing, if you get in this weird scene where you've created this 3D object, you, that's what you want to do, just make sure that is on. So that's what the compositing background check box is all about, and you can see that there on our plane there. It might not be so clear on this YouTube, but basically that's how you do it. So same principle applies if you wanted to do it with a movie, you can load an entire movie in and do the same sort of thing. Uh, it's a good technique.